And now, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world on the zone from Honda Center here in Anaheim, California. It is time for the moment we've all been waiting for, the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing this schedule for the WBC Silver Lightweight Championship. Brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and sponsored by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, the executive officer is Andy Foster and the chairman, John Carvelli. Your three judges scoring this bout at ringside on the 10-point must system, Dr. Lou Moret, Troy Stamey, and Zach Yard. And when the action begins inside the ring, referee in charge, Hall of Famer, Raul Calle. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, the world is watching, and they are ready. Anaheim, California, make some noise if you are ready! Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with silver. He weighed officially 134 and three quarter pounds. In 29 professional fights, he brings an outstanding record standing at 25 victories, two defeats, two bouts even, 19 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the former two-time world title challenger from Managua, Nicaragua, Francisco Fonseca! And across the ring stands his opponent fighting out of the ring corner. Wearing red trunks, trimmed in white. He weighed in 134 and three quarter pounds. And as a young professional, this rising lightweight star is perfect in the ring. 19 bouts, 19 victories, including 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the undefeated fighting pride of the high desert from Victorville, California. King Ryan. Ryan. Remember, los golpes para arriba, keep the punches up, watch the punches behind the back of the head. Good luck to both of you. Buenas suerte a los dos. Ryan Garcia, King Rod, the flash. You know the hand speed. You know the smile. You know the power. Can he do it as he takes on tougher and tougher competition? That's the challenge in front of him tonight. Francisco Fonseca, 25 wins, only two losses, 19 wins by KO. He says, hey, I've got a chip on my shoulder. I can beat Ryan Garcia, and then I'll be the one to beat Tank Davis. As you look down at the boots of Ryan Garcia, you see the images of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna who passed away tragically last month in that helicopter accident. Ryan Garcia is being groomed for greatness, and the stage is set now. It's time to perform, and this is a young kid that likes to start off early with that check hook right there, but he needs to set it up with fast jabs. You can see on the front of Ryan Garcia's trunks, he's got the name Riley. That is the name of his young daughter, his newborn. And as you evaluate Fonseca as a credible opponent, you have to remember that he's fought most of his tough, top fights at 130 pounds. He's moving up to face a top fighter here. Whoa. Davis. That knocked him off balance. Garcia closing in now. Davis and Tevin Farmer, 130 pounds. Caught him with a left hook. Similar left hook he caught Romero Duna with. It was a glancing left hook. It didn't look like much, but those are the shots that really hurt when they graze you off the temple. Garcia maybe threw four punches. 
punches, and Fonseca is done. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, no one can believe it. This crowd stunned. Garcia almost apologetic with what he just did. Not apologetic, concerned, doing the classy thing. And that's what makes this young man special. He has he has the wits to pray for a fallen warrior. And now we see Fonseca up on his feet now. Glad he's all right. Back to back. One first round knockouts with one punch. Same punch. Left hook. <laughs> Wow. Unbelievable. I don't use that word too often, but that was incredible. The referee didn't even bother counting Sergio. Well, normally when a fighter, his head slams off the canvas like that, you know that he didn't have the, the, the energy, the wits about him to hold himself up. That's a bad sign knowing that it's pretty much over after that. Oscar De La Hoya knows what he has on his hands. Perhaps a reincarnation of what he once was. The golden boy has another golden boy. Same looks, same vicious hook, same smile, same charm, causing the same harm. Garcia told us yesterday as we look at the replays here, I'll save that story. Go ahead, Sergio. No, he set up that left hook, and we're, we predicted it. It all started with that jab, and you can see it right there, Ryan Garcia. He knew there was no way Conseco, what Fonseca was going to get up from that. Right on the money, thumb up, grazing off the chin, and just the way that he fell, you could tell that it was lights out for Francisco Fonseca. Look at the way he, it's like a whiplash left hook. Thumb up in the air. Fonseca didn't even have a chance to get warmed up in there. And those are the worst kind of knockouts. Garcia told us, I'm not looking for the knockout. But I said, hey, everyone's talking about you versus Javante Davis. He did it in eight rounds. Surely you want to do it quicker than that. He goes, well, of course I'd like to, but I don't want to make a prediction. It was closer to eight seconds than it was to eight rounds. What message did he send to the 135-pound division? I've arrived. I've arrived. This kid's a superstar. Not only the fact that he was able to fill this arena the first time he's headlined here, but the fact that he's able to get back-to-back -back impressive knockouts with fighters that, he's, that are supposed to be the toughest challenge of his career. Joe Martinez with the official particulars. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. One minute, 20 seconds, round number one. Referee Raul Caiz puts a halt to the bout. Your winner by KO victory, his 17th professional knockout, 20th professional victory. He is still undefeated. King Ryan, Ryan, go!